917, 918. We've got Marsh and the Royals, Pablo Lopez and the Twins, minus 260 favorites to the Twins, plus 210 to the Royals, total of eight and a half with some juice to the under at minus 115. I'm trying to remember what order we're going. Corby, let's start with you here. I think that's the right order here. Lopez profiles pretty well, a 625 weighted OPS, and I know we don't have a huge sample size on Marsh, but my weighted numbers have it as a 1217. He's not very – he didn't look great. He hasn't looked great since he's been up with the Royals, what Royals pitcher has. Uh, big favorite to the Twins here. Do we trust this lineup, or is this a dog day for the Royals? What do you think? Yeah, Alec Marsh, I faded in his debut the other day on the show. I took his under strikeouts three and a half, and uh, it looked pretty good for a minute. And uh, there was only one issue. Max Muncy is mm. absolutely a trash can. Like, it, mm-hmm. Alec Marsh's stuff wasn't working. He had three walks. Like it, Everyone was doing pretty well. And Max Muncy was like, I, I'm talking feet from the ball. He was never close to this guy's stuff. Um, so I, I'm still not a believer in Alec Marsh by any means. He does throw fast. He has some decent stuff, but he has a lot of location issues. The issue is, uh, you've talked about a ton, is the Twins strike out near the top of baseball. So it's like, can they lay off those pitches and get him into trouble with the walks? And I, I'm going to lean towards yes here. I took the double result at, I, at plus 100 when I took it last night. I have no clue what we got for the sake of the show. But uh, I think you're getting a much better pitcher in Pablo Lopez. A Twins offense, who I took uh, to make the playoffs – and so I'm still kind of believing in this Twins team, but in the most unfavorable of ways, I just don't. I think that I was probably wrong in the preseason. But first, Alec Marsh versus Royals offense, by all means, double result. Uh, I would take my shot there. Yeah, I think it's minus 105 on the sheet. So you're still getting near even money there. Uh, Jay, what do you think here? This tw- It's a shame kind of that this Twins lineup is striking out so much and underachieving because they do have a decent rotation. You know, Gray, Lopez, and Ryan, that's not a bad trio to have in your rotation. Uh, what do you think today? Can the Royals find a way to win? I mean, the Royals are pretty bad. Uh, let me put it this way. I, I've heard base winner say a few times that he thinks this lineup and that lineup's worse than the A's. No, I watched the A's for the first time, a full game of the A's yesterday. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. Like it, it's, <laughs> it's horrific. Every single, there's not a lineup in baseball worse than the A's. It's just not, it's not even close. Like, so we should just stop saying it. But if there was a team who could compete, this Royals team is right there with them. Uh, what do you think here, Royals twins? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the Royals myself. Uh, they play this annoying little brand of baseball. Uh, you know, don't have a lot of good things to say about them, to mm-hmm. uh, to be very honest. I like the under. I bet under nine last night. I, I paid like minus 125 or 129 for the nine. You can see it's juiced to the under eight and a half now. Um, I, I, I don't think I'd play eight and a half minus 120, but I think the team total here, but playing the, the team total under on the Royals is basically uh, a similar bet. Um, you're probably laying a little more juice, but in most occasions, the, uh, the Royals do not engage in slugfest. So, uh, yeah. un- under three and a half minus one, uh, 140, I think, is is what I played. I don't know what the number is at, at this exact moment. I don't have Bet US up at uh, on my screen, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm on the under. I'm on the team total under. I don't like the Royals. Um, it's it, they're not even fun to watch. I, I, I'm sorry, no, the Royals really fans, not. but they're, they're, they're really not. It's not, not good baseball. Um, I have on the sheet here Royals team total under three minus one fifteen for you. In this oh, one. three, three. It's three at one fifteen now instead of three and a half. Yeah. That's fine. I'd actually rather have the flat three at Bet mm-hmm. US because um, you know you're gonna pay for the juice and not push on the three and a half. Yeah. But uh, hey, score three runs, score four runs. Let's let you know do it. That's what Scared I was saying. Scared money do don't it. make money. I always, you know what, and that that's just one thing. I've always it's always bugged me. Like well. I'll play it at four and a half at uh, minus 140. But if it gets to four there, that's too low for me. And I'm like, why? I'll, it's the same damn thing. You're just getting a better number. You're just, I hate pushes. I don't want to push. The only thing I want, you know, you guys know when I want to push what I want to push. And it cer- certainly isn't baseball bets here. Uh, Pablo Lopez, by my numbers, just to back Jason's point here, profiles is one of the best pitchers on the card in terms of how he profiles versus the lineup. A 629 weighted OPS. He's been really, really good in his last five starts. Only one game under 40 fantasy points in that stretch. Um, he's been really good against both righties and lefties. 
Orioles are kind of split there, but they're just a bunch of righties that suck and a bunch of lefties that suck. I don't want to say too much and jinx Jason here, but the Royals team total under makes a lot of sense to me. And for purposes of this show, we've got two plays on this one. We got the Twins double result at minus 105 for Corby, and we got the Royals team total under three at minus 115. It feels like those correlate pretty well. I think we get that Royals team total under three. I think both of you are cashing pretty nicely on that one. Uh, the Royals, man, they are a bad team. 